Inside the gym at a local Jewish community center, students are kicking, punching, and placing each other in headlocks. This is Krav Maga. You might have heard of it before on the popular TV show, How I Met Your Mother. Better run, I have my Krav Maga class in half an hour. Krav Maga, how cool is it that she does Krav Maga? Thanks, honey. Mm. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Dude, what's Krav Maga? I have no idea, some kind of yoga. Krav Maga is not yoga. It's a hand-to-hand -hand street fighting system formerly developed for the Israeli military that's often taught in the U.S. as a self-defense class. I might have to step out and punch. It's the same move. My hands come up, I'm stepping out, I'm punching. That's Dana Ben Kaplan, the lead instructor at Krav Maga San Diego. Give yourselves a hand, guys. Nice work. He teaches men, women, teens, and seniors how to break free from multiple attackers or escape a fight in the ocean. But Kaplan's real-life training scenarios aren't just tailored to the average citizen. Hidden alongside his students are law enforcement officers. 12 years Department of Justice, Federal Law Enforcement. Uh, I've got personnel from uh, U.S. Secret Service, um, uh, local law enforcement, uh, of course, San Diego PD, San Diego County Sheriffs, uh, Border Patrol, Immigration Customs Enforcement, um, Department of Homeland Security. Bang, bang. Get on target. Nice. They're seeking outside instructors like Kaplan to boost their defensive tactics training. You can throw some kicks, some punches. He says he attended a course in Israel to teach Krav Maga to law enforcement, and he offers monthly classes only for them. I heard a click. Once I get at least one click, I'm good. Kaplan says Krav Maga is the best fighting system for law enforcement officers. In part because it gives them options in situations that would have them reaching for their gun. Draw! He calls this the gray area. The gray area is the in-between between shooting and fighting. Because it's easy for a law enforcement agency to teach officers how to shoot. You can go to a range. It's easy to teach them how to fight, put them in a padded room, put some boxing gloves and headgear on. But that gray area is not really covered. His style of Krav Maga teaches officers how to respond to highly stressful situations. Hey, weapon, get down. Like ordering down unruly subjects to the ground. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Get down on the ground. And we'll go in a mat room and we'll gear up and we'll fight. We'll fight with weapons and we'll, we'll do impact weapon training. We'll do weapon retention training, long gun, handgun, weapons training on the ground. Um, all kinds of stuff that they might not have time for in their academy. And we direct that gun. Okay, so District investigator uh, and lead defensive tactics instructor Luis Rudisil says Krav Maga is an additional tool officers can rely on when facing a suspect that's wielding a sharp weapon. Training knives, if the suspect's within 21 feet of that range, it's uh, encouraged and actually taught that, you know, you don't have enough time to try to disarm him before he can actually harm you. So you immediately reach for uh, uh, lethal force. But he says officers don't always have to immediately turn to their firearm. Here it is right here. With Krav Maga, training and those type of techniques, uh, we have found that you can actually defend an attack and still be able to get to your options if you choose to go to deadly force. Uh, sometimes you don't, you don't have to do that. But not every law enforcement agency in San Diego emphasizes Krav Maga like he does. Captain Brian Ahern with the San Diego Police Department says the agency's defensive tactics curriculum comes from a variety of fighting styles. We don't cite any one particular or rely on one or integrate elements of any specific self-defense um, programs. Um, it's more of a, a universal style that you would see most likely in, in most programs. Ahern says the department's training curriculum meets the high standards okay. set by the state police right. training board. But officers can still attend classes on their own time and dollar, like Kaplan's. But just because they can train in it doesn't mean they can use it on the job. Ultimately, at the end of the day, any application of force must be reasonable, and it's got to be within department procedure. Late at night at Kaplan's monthly law enforcement and military classes, a mix of Marines, sailors, and law enforcement officers practiced arresting each other using a takedown technique. And secure this wrist and take him down. Not all of the eight students would appear on camera because of security reasons. So we interviewed them about their training by a show of hands. How many of you feel more efficient in your job after training in Krav Maga? All of their hands went up. Taryn Mento, KPBS News. Okay, so are those cuts too tight? Follow me right this way.